Tonight we continue our five-part series on women who've made their mark on the UP. TV6's Alex Klein introduces us to two women who've impacted Marquette County and beyond. Amy Klickner grew up in the UP and stayed here. When I went to school, I wanted to be a secretary. Um, so when I got my associate's degree, I uh, went to work and I realized I don't want to be a secretary. I want to have a position where I have my own secretary. So Amy went back to school, did philanthropic work on the side, and decided she wanted to do that full time, which is how she landed at LSCP in economic development. I was the first employee here in 1998, uh, 20 years later, uh, the CEO, and I am still having fun. Amy works with a range of companies from startups to well-established organizations to bring wealth into the community. I've gotten to work with some of the most incredible people in the community and in this office. And so as I grew with the company, it, I stepped up into all these different roles. So it was never uh, a huge leap, but it was part of the process. We're celebrating 20 years um, of economic development in Marquette County through the Lake Superior Community Partnership. Amy has really been the backbone of this organization since the start, whether it's something in the community that she had to work through or being the only woman at the table. Within the last year, the LSCP has expanded to Berga and Dickinson counties. I just think in our community, no matter what gender you are, and you aspire to or you are in a position of leadership, you are respected if you're doing a good job. Another woman who's well respected in Marquette County is Nina Wire Itner. Nina is originally from Midland, but she moved to the UP after she got married. I was a young teacher in Ishpeming, but I lived in Marquette and there really wasn't a lot of opportunity for kids here. It was just a different kind of a place. But Nina wanted to change that. She wanted a place for her kids to go. So when she got the opportunity, she ran with it. With the Kellogg Foundation's help, Nina was able to purchase a building in 1991 and open the UP Children's Museum in 1997. I mean, I think there were people in this town that thought I was a nutcase because I had this grandiose scheme of starting this place that, like I said, there really wasn't anything like this in this town. So since 1991, Nina has built the museum from the ground up. The museum has eight exhibits where children can learn and interact, and two new exhibits will be unveiled on May 12th. She is the fundraising, so without her, this place doesn't open its doors. You know, that little tiny person that walks in and, and you know, and just like, oh, you know, in awe, you know, it makes me cry. Nina's won numerous awards for her active involvement in the community and her work with the UP Children's Museum. If you would have asked um, the, the Nina, the 15-year-old Nina, um, I, you know, I don't know if that 15-year-old Nina would have ever said that she was going to be a leader in a community, if that's what I am. But um, I, I think I would be proud of myself. Amy and Nina are two women who paved the way for their passions in the UP. And tomorrow, TV6's Julie Williams will conclude our series with two women who took what they love and made it into their own. Alex Klein, TV6 News, Marquette.